News in 60 is supported by Jay Gonzalez Injury Attorneys. The winner of the 2020 presidential race is still unknown. The race still too close to call in key battleground states and ballots are still being counted in Pennsylvania, Georgia, Nevada, and North Carolina. Protests erupting overnight all over the country. People on both sides of the political aisle took to the streets, demanding every vote be counted. Meanwhile, the Trump campaign filing lawsuits over vote counts in Michigan, Georgia, and Pennsylvania. Browns YSD school board member Sylvia Atkinson was found guilty for taking bribes. The federal jury found her guilty on eight different charges. Atkinson's attorney says they are looking to appeal this decision. Sentencing is set for February 9th. And Thanksgiving is right around the corner. HEB and the South Texas Food Bank are teaming up to feed families. Holiday meal distribution is set to happen today in Rio Grande City. It'll be held at the Fort Ringgold Parade Field along Fort Ringgold Avenue. That starts at 10 a.m. and lasts until meal meals run out. And your forecast for today, mostly sunny with highs in the mid 80s. And that is your News in 60. Have a great Thursday. News in 60 is supported by Jay Gonzalez Injury Attorneys.